I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. Gucci third leg burned me with HB2. My body count like 3,000, so it's like, damn, like, I ain't feel too, too bad about it. That, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That's absurd. Like, how? Good with y'all boys today we finna tap into this Danae Davis and Gucci third leg situation now people if you don't know what's going on basically this girl Danae Davis who is an OS star has recently come out and accused another porn star by the name of Gucci third leg of giving her herpes all right now this situation is kind of crazy so I'm not currently streaming for this but let's still tap into this information I'm gonna give y'all this quick little bust down let's get to the first video this is how this whole situation started off um I'm here to tell you guys that uh, allegedly Gucci third leg is out here giving people HSV2 that is genital herpes if you collab with him and then found out a month to three months later that you have genital herpes, there's a high likelihood that you got got by that man. Um, please go get tested if you did have any collaborations with him. I know a lot of people are being insensitive and saying like, oh, he fucks everybody raw. How are you surprised? Um, stuff like that is not always common knowledge. And another thing is there are several niches on social media. So... Uh, a lot of people aren't aware of his gross or abusive ways um, until they actually experience it. They don't see it on social media. So I'm going to say this a couple times on my platform to make sure that the word gets out because I have now a big platform. Gucci, I've been waiting for this. She followed up this video with a series of three videos the next day, and these are these videos. Devastating, but I just got another phone call to Gucci's third leg infected another girl allegedly with hsv2 if you are a victim of this man please come forward text me personally i will get your story out there completely anonymously there are so many people that are just getting swept under the rug he literally told this person everybody has these in the industry oh they don't now if all of this is confusing you so far just wait this next video is going to tie everything together i'm just gonna say yes he gave it to me it's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was going to send me his test results. And he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me. And they're so young as well. He is preying on the young. He is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared. And I was making so much money. I just... <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. All right. So that clip explains everything. Gucci third leg. I'm almost. I'm gonna just stop saying third leg. That shit sound gay. Gucci the third has been giving herpes to multiple young women in the industry without telling them of what he has. He also gave it to Danae Davis. Now she posted one more video about this whole situation. I'm gonna go ahead and play him real quick. I know the people that already have it know exactly what I'm talking about, but whenever you realize and find out that you have something as severe as that, it, it's heartbreaking. It causes you to go through an immense amount of trauma and depression. I was going through so much at the time and i've already gone through so much so at the time it was very hard for me to speak up about anything i do fully disclose anybody that i have sexual interactions with i tell them before nobody is made underwear I, you guys can demonize me whatever but i'm sorry hearing these girls sob and not know what to do because for a while they didn't know if that's what was going on it's so sad because the agency does not make you test talent testing does not make you test for herpes Whoa. that is one of the only things that they don't make you test all right so now that we got all the information let me talk about the situation a little bit now from what i'm hearing right now whoever this gucci third leg guy is he sounds like an absolute monster like why are you going around giving girls herpes when you know you have herpes like that's stupid do you think these girls are not gonna catch that shit like what are we talking about how as a man can you just be okay with ruining girls lives like this could you at not least warn them or at least wear a condom before having sex this is nasty this is horrible and it's very insane that he even has the balls to do this shit what's even crazier is i ran across this little interview on twitter and this nigga Gucci fucks a lot. Well, let's just watch this clip. I think my body count was like 
3,100. But I was really, I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick down in the body had like 2,000 or whatever. But so it was like, Whoa, what? When, I, when I was dealing with my chick, she couldn't really be like, oh, your body counts too much because her body count like 2,000. My body count like 3,000. So it's like, damn, like, I ain't feel too too bad about it. 3,000? That's crazy. Like, that's absurd. Like, how? That's a whole small town. But let's just put this hypothetical out here. His body count is 3,000. Let's say he caught the herp herp around the halfway point of his body count. So let's say 1,500, which is insane. That would mean he would have fucked 1,500 women while having herpes. This is insane. So I made a list of his top 25 reported bodies, which by the way, <laughs> How the fuck did this nigga find this information? Oh, whoever this guy is, he's a freaky frog. But when you look at this list, there is a lot of notable people. I mean, I'm not even that much of a gooner, but I already recognize like three of these names. Jim Jules, Victoria, Willow Ryder, she's a big one. Hell, Sexy Red is on here. That's huge. And even this list is just a small portion of the women that he's fucked this is insane and another thing you got to think about all of these women are porn stars which means they fuck a lot of people let's just say he gave five of these girls herpes every single one of these girls who could have potentially fucked let's just throw out a random number like 10 to 15 guys after him until they found out what they have and out of those 10 to 15 guys let's say seven of them got that shit and then those seven guys probably fucked like 15 girls like you see the cycle this is starting this is is serious and the fact that he's not alerting these porn stars about him having herpes should be a fucking crime and one of the most disgusting parts about this shit is that danae davis put out a tweet showing proof that gucci actually has herpes and in this proof she shares a video of her sucking his dick with an open scar on his dick which means gucci was fucking danae while having a herpes outbreak this is fucking ludicrous are you that addicted to sex that you can't wait until your outbreak ends and i'm sure him and king von will be having immaculate two mans down in hell when he died but he's not the only person that wrong now before i say what i'm gonna say i just want to say this to danae i truly and honestly do feel bad for you but at the same time this is also your fault i mean sucking a nigga's dick when he has an open sore on it, it, it i'm sorry that's crazy like i don't care and then also you should have never collabed with this man ever before you got the test results and i like in the video that danae did say it is her fault so i'm not gonna get on her too much and i do also like the courage she had to willingly and openly expose herself to the public for having std a lot of people are not willing to do that like a lot of people aren't so i do applaud her for that but one thing i don't understand about this whole situation is that i'm going on twitter i'm going in her comment sections and people are hating on her for being open about what she has had which i truly don't understand because she did take accountability for her actions like i don't understand why she's receiving hate yeah i understand it's cool to bash on porn stars and shit but like bro it takes a lot of courage to like admit that you have an std other girls have gotten herpes and have stayed quiet about it too so we at least need to give credit where it is due she didn't have to come out i do applaud her for coming out another thing i will say that she should have did earlier is you feel me expose this information seven months ago when she did catch this herpes her not doing this probably put a lot of other girls at risk and while i'm not finna sit here and act like that's the easiest thing to do because again you're finna expose yourself to the whole world it would have theoretically been the right thing to do but one of the things that's been trending on the internet is that people are starting to uncover other people who have reportedly had sex with danae during this time period of her having herpes one of these people is deshay frost he's actually come out and made a statement about this whole situation let's tap in i do not have herpes okay i do not have that I do not have herpes. I actually talked to Danae when she came on my stream in June, right? We um, talked at the stream and that's when I knew. I knew before the whole world knew in June after the stream. When the time I personally, not to put people's business out, but the time I had sex with her was in December when I shot my season three, my season three. When she came on stream, we talked and she was, she pulled me to the side and she respectfully, she was like, yo, I have, you know what I'm saying? So-and-so gave me this, and I just want to let you know before, you know what I'm saying, like anything further, because I know we had, you know, back then. So I was like, for sure, like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know why people real. speaking on my name. First of all, bro, like, I just feel like, Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck's going on with his hair, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I've been looking at it this whole time, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I even talk about people, bro, real stop. shit, and just for niggas just to keep bringing my name up just to get clipped, because I ain't never seen nobody anything until, like, Niggas start talking about me, bro. I don't get that shit. Whatever. Like, people are, like, saying things, like, bringing me into, like, anything, bro. When was the last time, you know, we had sexual relations? Uh, we had sex. Uh, 
had sex. The only time we really had sex was whenever I was on your show. In December. Whenever we were filming in, the show. In December, right? I think that was November, actually. November, yeah, yeah. We shot the end of November and we posted it in December. Um, yeah. When did you, when did you like contract, you know what I'm saying? Like, I contracted herpes February 10th or the 13th, one of those two days. And I didn't find out that I had herpes until March. Ooh. February. Okay. March okay. Okay. Bet. All right. So peep, I don't have a face cam for this portion because this is after I recorded the video, but I need to show y'all this clip. So another guy I used to fuck with is literally, um, I guess trying to like gain something out of the situation i don't know what the fuck he's trying to gain but he's trying to act like i gave bentley deshay la mike a whole bunch of people he's naming people that i didn't even fuck bro but no i didn't give any of them herpes none of them have herpes at least for me shit i don't know what the fuck they got but shit they don't got it for me shit um another thing be careful because you acting like i got karma for saying that you ate my ass nigga you ate my ass the fuck do I gain out of saying that you ate my ass or you ate my ass? <laughs> Nigga, you ain't nobody for real. But I digress. Um, Y'all be safe out here. Karma's a bitch, so don't laugh at people because God don't like us. Okay, so apparently people are saying that she's talking about this content creator called Melt. I'm not... 100% sure. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to comments. You feel me? The comments, yeah, they speak for themselves, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, I guess everybody knows you're an ass eater now, man. You saying everybody saw it is insane. If I didn't expose that lesion yesterday, nobody would believe me, bro. Nobody would still believe Yo, me. Yo, hold on. I just peeped this. Is this a scar? A herpes scar? Ooh. Me. Oh, bro. Man. Oh, Are you fucking serious? Oh. oh. Y'all motherfuckers talking about everybody fucking saw it. There was a hundred fucking like, a hundred thousand likes on his video of him posting me, and he was burning me, bro. And then he kept posting me, so I kept posting. Maybe that's a pimp patch or something. I don't know. Nobody saw the lesion until I fucking just zoomed in on the bitch. You don't know what she's talking about. She's talking about the uh, herpes scar that was on Gucci Third Leg's dick when they was fucking. It's kind of clearly obvious when you see it. Like, I mean, you could just see the lesion. This situation kind of crazy. You can still catch herpes with a condom if the condom is not covering the herpes lesion, because. Some people can have a herpes sore on their ass, have sex with somebody, and their balls can rub against their asshole. And guess what? You now have herpes on your balls. Oh, meaning uh, that you okay. now have genital fucking herpes. Oh, oh wow. Talking about use protection. Y'all, you guys could be fucking somebody that you think it's a fucking outbreak, and they have it right here on a regular part, and they're giving you herpes. Oh, shit. You can have a herpes sore on your ass cheek. Okay. Please do your research. All Please right. Please stop yelling at me. Please stop telling me that this is crazy and I... STDs are crazy. Please do your I mean, research. For sure. I'm so tired you believe you, of y'all just being loud and wrong. Just use protection. Bitch, you can catch it with protection. That is true, though. I mean, like she just said, man, if your bowls touch some ass with some herpes, man, you will get the herp herp. I think she got it on her face right there, too. I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to you feel me diss or nothing, but I, I think I just I'm, noticed it. Okay, so since we think that the, my story is so interesting and I have so many people tuned in, let me educate the public real quick. There are so many STDs that people do not get tested for, like HPV. HPV is uh, an STD that most men can't get tested for because you have to t stick a cotton, sw cotton swab in your tip in order to detect that virus inside of you. Most women don't know what they have until they're 21 years of age because they're not allowed to get a pap smear until they're 20 fucking one. Okay. MJ, Didn't know that. Mycoplasma genitalium. Is an STD that people don't even know exists. What the fuck Only is that? Only porn stars get tested for that shit. You have to literally ask them and beg people. High key. Because I remember one time I didn't get tested by talent testing. And I had to literally beg my freaking gynecologist to test me for MGen. Because they don't just test that. Test for it. Hepatitis. There is hepatitis A, B, and C. Only C is curable, and you have to go on medication for three months. The Damn. rest of them, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, the rest of them is lifelong. People Didn't even don't know even that. know about trichomonasis. They just know about gonorrhea, chlamydia, and HIV. I mean, those are like the big four, or like, you feel HSV2 and HSV1. STDs and shit. Two viruses that also are not regularly tested on regular full panels. I'm just telling y'all. 
that before you sit here in a key key and laugh at the next bitch for finding out that they have an STD, make sure that your results are all negative. You don't know what's going on. That is real. You don't know the dangers of having sex. Don't have true. sex unless you know, coming from a bitch that didn't know that the person that they were about to collab with, her first collab, was somebody who had an active sore. That was I'm your stupid. first collab? I know. Oh. I did not know. I was uneducated about HSV2. I was not aware of what a lesion looked like. You guys can laugh at me. It's fine. I laughed at myself. I scolded myself. I bullied myself. None of the shit that you guys are saying to me is stuff that actually fucking hurt. I just need everybody to be aware. I do not want to watch another person lose their mind on my phone because they did not know that they were fucking with somebody that was going to give them herpes. Stay vigilant. And before you laugh at somebody, please be educated. Please know what the fuck you got going on. Shit, she told y'all. She told you. That's crazy. My final thoughts on the situation, bro. Everybody, go get checked, man. Like, you never know who has herpes. Honestly, I'm praying for everybody who's been affected by that, man. Uh, my opinion, there should be a consequence for what he's done. I feel like he should get locked up at least or something. something there has to be laws against something like this. There needs to be. But besides that, that's all I got for y'all. If I find out any more information about this case, I'll make a second video. Or I might just react to it on stream. So go follow me on my Twitch. Tell me what y'all think about this whole situation. And also, shout out to Nicholas Bar for sending me a screenshot of this Danae Davis statement.